hello guys welcome back in the last video tutorial we have already shown the notification into our sliding panel and in this part we will make the buttons into our notification functional so let's do it so first of all we have to go to into our application class and from here we have to copy these means we have to add into our receiver broadcast receiver and those actions name so for adding the broadcast receiver into our android manifest this broadcast receiver we have to write just after this service receiver and here we have to write just dot notification receiver and it will be enabled and close this inside this receiver we have to write intent filter where we will write the action name that is action play action pause action next and whatever you want furthermore so just write intent filter and now we have to let's close it and inside this intent filter we have to write action space name and here we have to just paste this value of string just copy this next and write it here means paste in double quotes so remove this and just paste it here and now close this also we have to add two action names for play and previous so just copy this two and paste it here and also for play pause button now paste it here now we have registered the broadcast receiver into our android manifest file and now we will go to notification receiver broadcast receiver class and here we will add a switch case statement switch intent dot get action which will be of type string and here you can see this will so throw null pointer exception and for that I am going to first check if condition if the intent dot get action is not equal to null then we will start switch case statement and it will not throw any exception null pointer exception and inside this we will have a case statement first of all I am going to just copy this and paste it here for knowing which of the button is clicked so write action play and colon and inside this case statement we will show first as a toast means we have clicked a play button further we will implement this for calling the next uh, play pause button method and just copy and paste it for two more times for action next and action previous and also you can change these toast so that you can see which of the button is you are clicking so now we have implemented this broadcast receiver for showing the toast when we will click on any one of the buttons in our notification menu that we have implemented next play paused and previous button so now i'm going to run this app and see we will we will see if the toast is visible or not when we will click on any one of the buttons in notification so first there is no in, in notification you can see here so we will play it and it will show a notification in sliding panel you can see the locket playing is true and here you can see the notification now we will, when we will click on play pause button you can see the toast in the main activity when we will click on next you can see the toast in background this is the toast so we are showing the toast now we have to implement the method to call in our service so that we can start the service from this notification when we will click on previous play and next button the service will be started and that service will call the method that is play pause and next and previous from the main activity and also in the notification you can see this is not stopped but in the main activity you can see this is playing so there is a bug that we have to solve so for that first of all i am going into our main activity to solve this and 
and uh, first of all close this and also this and inside this main activity we will go to our next clicked method and here we have done something wrong so when the media player is not playing we have to show the play button and when it is playing we have to show the pause button and also in previous clicked method we have done the same thing so when it the media player is not playing we have to show the play button and also here we have to show the pause button and in play click method you can see this is when we will click on play button it is not playing so it should show the pause button and vice versa so it is now okay let's run the app and see if the button is visible correctly into our notification when we will click on next play pause etc so you can see the notification is now visible and also the buttons is correctly showing means if it is playing then the image view to the play pause button is paused and when it is not playing it is set to play so this is working good now now we have to implement the methods that we will call in our music service when we will start the service from our notification receiver so now i am going to first music service and here in our own start command method first of all i am going to delete this log cat log message and in our notification receiver we have to call the methods that is context dot start service and we have to pass a new intent that will start the service from this context so we have to first create an intent in this on receive method intent intent one equals new intent and here we will have to pass two arguments that is one will be context from this context and where we want to start the service that is music service dot class and now we can pass this intent one into our context service and before that we have to put some extras for the name of the action so my action name the name and here we will pass intent dot get action as a value and here intent one to start the service of music service now we will just copy these two lines of codes and just paste it in this method in this block and in this block for action next and action previous this will send this value intent dot correction from this three lines of codes and we will get that string extra in our music service when the service will be started so we have to just copy the and here just pasted and now we will be going to copy this switch case statement and we have to paste it in our music service when we will start the service and here we will check which of the action to be performed here so that we can call the methods related to that action and here i am just deleting these redundant codes and here we have to pass the action name so we have to first get string extra from the notification receiver so string action name equals intent dot get string extra and here we have to pass the name that we have provided here my action name so just copy this and here we have to paste it now semicolon and then, then we can pass this action name in switch block so action name and also this could generate a null pointer exception so just cut it and check if action name is not equal to null and then in this block just paste that switch case statement and now in each of the case blocks according to the action we can call these methods from action playing interface which will call these lines of codes from the main activity so here we will have to first initialize this action playing interface action playing interface we have created and uh, now 
in this case statement we will check if action playing is not equal to null then we will call the methods that is action playing dot play pause button clicked because we are going to perform the action related to play pause button so just now copy this and paste it in action next and change this play next play clicked to next click method and also in this previous action to previous clicked method so we have done these operations on action that we will click on the notification bar and here you can just change this to start sticky start sticky means once the service will be stopped it will be restarted itself so now I'm going to run this app and we will check so here you can see when we will click on the play button you can see the notification is now showing in the status bar and uh, when we will click on these buttons it will just show up the toast which means the methods are not calling why it is not calling because we haven't implemented the action playing means we have not set the callback in our main activity to call the methods in our action playing so we have to first create a method here that will be of public void set callback and it will take an argument means we are creating a method set callback and which is having a parameter of action playing and here we will initialize the action playing instance variable using this dot action playing equals action playing this formal variable and this action playing is in this instance variable and this action playing is formal variable and now we have to set the callback as a main activity so we have to call this method in our main activity when we have successfully service connected so using this magic service we have to call the set callback method in our own service connected so write magic service dot set callback and then here we have to pass this main activity dot this so we can call the methods from music service of this main activity that is play clicked and next clicked and previous clicked method now it will be not null and it will call the methods i mean that in music service the action playing instance will be not null and it will call the methods that is play clicked method next click method and previous clicked method when we will perform any of the action in our notification so now I am I am running this app and when it will launch you can see the notification will be shown when we will click on this button and now the action will be performed so just click this and you can see the song is changed and also the toast will be showing here and you can see in the main activity the title name is also changed and when we will pause this you can see this is paused and when we will click on previous you can see the song is changing so these are the things that you have to do when you are creating a bonded service music service so these are the things that you have to do when you are playing the music files in background so that's it for the tutorial and we have closed this session for the music files playing in notification.